Hello everyone, welcome to KK4Z, my name is Scott, and uh, kind of having a recap today, I've taken down my activation out here in the Chiaha State Park, and um, probably be heading back towards home tomorrow, but I wanted to give a little recap, things I found, things uh, I may do better next time, and yeah, just kind of give me an overview. Uh, the antenna for the whole weekend was a spark plug antenna with a 65 foot wire on it, it was fed by 25 foot of RG316. And then depending on either I ran it straight into my X6100 or I ran it through the uh, AH705 antenna tutor into my IC705. Uh, the antenna did, you know, quite well. The band conditions were not that great, but uh, it did well. I kept it out during the you know, winter storm Quinlan, and uh, it survived. You know, we had some pretty gusty gusty winds. Uh, this park is the highest point in Alabama. It's about 2,400 foot up. Uh, we got rain, we got snow, we got wind. Right now it's pretty cold out there, but I just pulled the antenna in. The antenna worked. Um, I made contacts with people from the Dominican Republic from Puerto Rico, uh, Oregon, up in New York, Florida. So let me see what else I got here. Uh, Oklahoma, Wisconsin, Missouri. I think I already said New York, Texas. So I, I got out and I'm only, I was running QRP, uh, five watts. It may have been as high as 10, but I think I was mostly running five watts. So I was making contacts. Now they, they weren't, you know, bang, bang, bang. You know, sometimes I had to work them a little bit. But many of these contacts, uh, I got in in the first or second call. So it's working. So the antenna did okay. And um, the the radios worked well. My preference is for the IC705. It's because I have ICOM radios at home. And so it's very familiar with me. And I like the touch screen. It makes things a lot easier. Uh, the X6100, it's a, it, I mean... Don't get me wrong, it performs pretty well for what it is. Um, it's just, you know, it's just not done yet. It needs um, probably another couple updates to really get it get it right. But uh, in general, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to get rid of it. It'll be one of my, um, if I decide to do some soda stuff, um, you know, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be uh, against taking that with me. The When you start talking about packing your own weight, you know, packing... Uh, the IC75 is a little heavy, but it's it, that really isn't bad. Um, you know, I would not I would not diss the 6100. I just my preference is the way I operate. I like the 705 better. Uh, things for next time. I brought way too much stuff, and and I I kind of did that just to see. I brought I had like three three sets of paddles with me. I had two radios. I had, oh, well, I had about a half a dozen antennas. You know, uh, I had a, a set of earbuds, which is what I use. I also had a Heil headset with a boom, which I didn't use. And so, I, you know, a lot of stuff I'll leave home next time. And I'm really getting into traveling light. That's really why, I want, even in a car, I don't want to bring a lot of stuff with me. So next time is going to be a lot different than this time. The other thing I discovered is I was logging with a Microsoft Surface Go 2 and it was feeding a lot of noise into my radios when I had them hooked up to the USB. I'm not sure why that happened. I tried uh, putting on some ferret beads maybe to slow it down, but it did introduce a lot of um, noise into the, into the radio. So what I might try next time, I, I may buy a piece of software for the 705 that will allow me to wirelessly connect the two and maybe that'll get rid of the noise. But the noise was bad enough that it was affecting my ability to hear other stations. So that being said, next time we'll, we'll do something different or I just won't keep it hooked up. Uh, I, I may just use the Hammers app on my phone next time just to see how that works. Again, making it lighter and a little bit easier to pack around. I'm just, I'm not a person who likes to bring a lot of stuff with me. I did this time just because I could. But uh, uh, the other thing I did different this time is 
I didn't activate a whole lot. I activated once for about 30 minutes, but the band conditions were kind of bad. And so, and I was doing other things this weekend besides playing on the radio. So what I decided to do is I hunted from a park. And so, and that works out because, you know, me and the other station, we both get credit, I, you know, for hunting and activating when you do it that way. And it was a lot of fun. Um, you know, I had to do a lot of searching. There's a lot of stations I just couldn't hear. But when I heard them, I was able to work them. And it was different. You know, instead of sitting on a, on a frequency and just calling CQ over and over again. And I don't think I was really being heard very well. Um, in fact, it took the RBN a while to catch me on CW. I, I only do CW. And so... You know, band conditions were not that good, especially for QRP. And I found out that when I was hunting, I had more success. So I made a total over the two days, I made a total of 22 contacts. So eh, that's pretty good, 11 each day. And um, it was a lot of fun. But that's really, really what I wanted to talk about quickly was the fact that um, I, I, I tried some things, some things worked, some things didn't, and that's what you gotta do. My next time is gonna be a lot different than this time. Um, I'm gonna go home and weed out a bunch of stuff uh, just because I don't need it. And that little spark plug antenna, it's the second or third time I've used it. Uh, it works well, it, it does the job. I mean, I got down into Dominican Republic and out to Oregon, so I mean, I, I can't ask for much better than that. So. That's all, um, just wrapping up. I hope everybody had a good weekend and uh, we'll catch you next time. We'll hear you out there. This is KK4Z, Scott saying 73.